Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a unique episode because I'm going to do a personal update. I really have no plans on this video. I'm kind of pulling this all together, very last minute, unscripted. I only have like a couple of ideas to talk about in order to update you. I do have some pretty, pretty big life changes. Uh, I'm not pregnant, guys. No, <laughs> my, my baby girl is about to be 10 months old. Oh my God. Actually, the day that I release this will be her 10 month birthday, which is crazy to think about. Um, let's see her. She is like my life kind of cycles around her still right now. I do have other kiddos from a previous marriage that I, I think that a lot of my followers sometimes like miss out on that information, but I do. They're a little bit older. They're nine and seven right now. Um, also about to turn 10 and eight fairly soon. So I'm super busy between all of the kiddos and while maintaining my presence on social media, I cannot say enough times that I am completely blessed to have this opportunity to be on social media because it has absolutely allowed me to structure my life around a baby very differently than my first two kiddos because I was not doing this when I had my first two kiddos. I was actually a full-time physical therapist and I worked one and a half jobs. Um, so I was just crazy busy with that. I still feel crazy busy. It's funny how it's like all perspective. It, you know, it's kind of like what people say when they retire somehow. They feel like they have less time once they've retired because other stuff just comes in, you know? So that is probably all of my doing and our family's doing, but we also have been working on a huge project as a family. And this brings me to my biggest news. I actually announced it on Instagram first, just a few days ago. This, this whole scenery, is gonna be gone in about six weeks. I am no longer going to be doing long format videos in this room. My slides are going to look very different because I am moving. We are building a house right now and we've been very blessed to be able to do that between me working hard and absolutely my fiance working his butt off. He is in the construction industry and more so on the sales side of things. Now he kind of, he started off like from the very bottom doing the work and has worked his way up and is now in sales and has just been working, working, working. And we have been just getting everything together, waiting through the, the building process. We are six weeks away. You guys don't need to worry. I am going to be taking my mirror. I'm gonna be super nervous while I move it because it would be so terrible if it broke, um, knock on wood. I'm hoping not to actually just make that happen because I just put it out to the universe. So I am going to move it very, very carefully wrap it in like a thousand pieces of bubble wrap and the new place does have hardwood and you guys will probably laugh at me because of course we're building the place and the second floor like where the bedrooms are do not normally come with hardwoods but I very specifically said I needed the hardwoods <laughs> part of that has to do with work I have to be able to continue the side but I also, I'm just somebody that, um, I have a lot of allergies. And so I like hardwoods because it's easier to truly clean up all of the allergens so that it doesn't bother me as much over time. It's a new house, you know, carpet would probably be fine. But over time, I just think that the hardwoods are cleaner and because they can be mopped, it is just more comfortable. I think I told you guys, like I naturally started sliding into my videos because I grew up in a house with just all hardwoods and it was just how I would walk around. I'm also in upstate New York, so it's really cold and I would have socks on 
I wouldn't be walking with bare feet. So socks plus hardwoods, you know, it can be a little slippery at times and keeping your foot in contact with the floor was a way for me to not fall. And lastly, I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys about if I ever fall during my slide. Like I literally, I promise you, there's been only about two times that I've ever almost fallen and it's because I'm trying to do something a little bit different with the slide. It just doesn't happen. I don't have that many outtakes or videos where I'm falling. I just don't have any videos actually of me falling. I think the one time that I did end up with a video because I was trying to do a one-legged slide and I did post it, but that was three years ago, I think. You guys are probably not going to be able to find it. So that's the good news. Although, who knows? Maybe with this new hardwood, I'm going to have to get used to it. Hopefully, I don't end up with any falls. If I do, I promise you guys, I will save the video. I will just cut it and I will give it to you. I will. And hey, maybe it'll be for the 100th episode. Again, guys, if you have any other ideas for the 100th episode, let me know in the comments because that's going to be here before you know it. We're on number 71 today for anyone that has built a house or even moved, guys, like with kids. It's going to be, oh, it's going to be way worse than what I even expect, I think, for moving and for boxing things up. And I've been trying to get ahead of it, you know, doing a little bit at a time. But it's also summertime. So my older kids, I am with them primarily, although I've set them up with camps in order to like still get my work done. Um, and they do see their dad. So he has them for part of the time as well. But it's still been crazier than usual because of summer because, you know, they have to be driven to camps versus when they're in school, they just get picked up and dropped off by the bus. And it's surprising really how much that adds, especially with a, a baby and driving her around and trying to still follow her schedule. So that's the biggest, biggest exciting news. If you guys missed it in one of my other videos, I am engaged. We have not even been able to set a date or plan the wedding. We decided that the move had to happen first we needed more space because, well, we have more kids. <laughs> we have too many kids. Uh, my my fiancé has a child from his prior relationship. So total, all between us, we have four children. And they the girls need to share a room right now. And it's just too small of a room. It's not going that well. There's dynamic stuff because... My daughter, the older one, is here primarily, so, and it started off being her room. This started off being their house, and now they have, you know, their soon-to-be stepsister sharing a room, and then, of course, their baby sister in the mix as well. Those of you that have been divorced, and, you know, maybe you've been in relationships following that divorce, and you've thought about how you want to blend families, maybe you've tried to, maybe you have, maybe you've been successful in it. There's one thing for sure. There is um, a level of like challenges that definitely comes about <laughs> with blending a family. And it's tough because there are things that like you just cannot control. And sometimes there just needs to be a focus and a priority set, I think, on the relationship. But with that being said, I think that we're doing pretty amazing and blending this family. I think that the kids all really do. They love each other. And oh my God, especially their baby sister. Uh, speaking of that, maybe I'll get into the next topic that I was thinking about sharing with you guys. This is also kind of big. Oh, I don't even know if I want to share it. Maybe I'll give you guys a hint. I don't know. So I and my fiance have even started another side of social media. And that's been sharing his dynamic with our baby. And I love it. I love it because I get to film and I get to be not on camera. <laughs> and... Uh, I get to kind of show them off to a degree. I know that I have done that a lot on my social media, especially in the short form format. 
especially when we were like first dating and even like through the first three years I feel like I do that less now um but I maybe that's why I'm trying to find the outlet because I'm trying to find the balance now of well we're not like dating so it's not talking about the early dating relationships now it's getting into more of like the long-term relationship advice and I don't think that that's really truly my expertise I think that I can give little pieces of advice here and there but I also am very protective of our relationship as a whole and I don't want to share too much of our personal relationship but little bits here and there and I love sharing just how him and his daughter my daughter are together it's so adorable he's such a good dad um, you guys can probably imagine that with just how I've talked about him. He's very emotionally intelligent. I think that is what I'm most attracted to. I think that we pair very well because of that. But if you end up trying to find this page, I have it pretty, pretty hidden right now. And what's funny about that though, is that it some videos have gone somewhat viral. Like one video that I have of them has 1.5 million views on TikTok. And we have like 3,000 followers on YouTube right now. So one of these days, maybe uh, I'll collab with my, my future hubby and my daughter. <laughs> I don't know. When that day comes, it'll probably be pretty funny because... I have more male followers. It's like just a whole nother side of social media versus the audience that we're getting with his page is they're like all female. So the day that, you know, the pick me girl me, because <laughs> I get teased as the pick me girl oftentimes, pairs with this man that's amazing in all ways. I, I think that might, it might shock some of my, some of my haters. I don't know. And then for my followers, you're just gonna be like, yeah, of course, there's no doubt, no shock factor there. What else is there to update you guys on? Let's see, I, you know what? I wanna make a big announcement to you guys because I'm mentioning this other channel. When it comes to my channels, I only have one YouTube. So that means no Telegram, no other accounts on YouTube. I have one YouTube account. I have one Facebook account, I have one TikTok account, I have one Instagram account, and I have one Spotify account now. That's new, if you guys wanna check that out. I only ever have one, and I will never DM you. I won't, so if you guys are getting those, please don't fall for it. I hate getting emails from you guys asking me about if that was me, or you know, questioning, this person most of you I think you know you know that and you're just emailing me to kind of let me know um but last week I got a like really bad review on my Facebook page which has a million followers one of you guys put a bad review on because you really thought it was me replying in the comments but it was a fake account like it looked just like me because it copied my profile picture and it had Emily King or Emily W. King, and it really looked like it was me replying. It wasn't. It was not me replying. And, you know, it was like a link to a telegram and then obvious scam. So this person was putting a review saying that the entire Facebook page, my actual page, was a scam. So that, you know, that kind of stuff is somewhat frustrating because I, I don't want you guys, first of all, to fall for these things. And then second of all, I think that just, it takes away from my page and it takes away from the videos that I do and the advice that I give and the topics really that, that I care about. All right guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this life update and I will see you next Thursday for normal programming. Have a good week.